J.M. What a lady you are. You can call me John, you know. But anyways, we have one last mission that we have to do. For Arthur, of course. Huh? But I mean, we have all the time in the world, but... So... There you go. Thank you. You must be tuckered out. I <laughs> know I am. Yeah. Anything Abigail asks you to do, you do it, old man. Wh what am I stew go? Now. Of course, of course. I'll help any way I can. I mean, you know me, John. Oh, I do. Only too well. And what about you, Jack? So, we finally made this family honest, son. That's, uh, great, Pa. Really? I was glad you were there for it. We're a family. That's how it should be. Amen. You stay safe now. Okay, sir. Now that our house is fully modeled. What? What is that? It's art. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> oh, that's what they call it. Hmm. I mean, kind of, sort of, not really. Especially considering where it's coming from. <laughs> uh, Ma'am. We'll come back later. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's right there. Probably can't see it, but. How did the devs make you so cute? Look at that tail wagging at 100 miles per hour. There you are, Abigail. All right, John Marson. Since you bought this millstone around our necks, we'd better try and keep this place going. I paid our debts with that money I. Uh. I don't want to talk about that money. And no more that... It's over, Abigail. I'm sure. Then get to work on this ranch you own. And raising your boy. Yes, ma'am. It's the same dialogue from the last episode. So like I just said, it's the same dialogue. Nothing's changed. There's a silo. And we actually have cattle. Uh, please don't, please don't bear your horns like that at me. And we only have two of them. I mean, for a farm, that's a very small number. Oh, you're actually working, Jack. You know, Pa, I wish I'd met your Pa. Trust me, you ain't missed much. I'm older than you was when he died, right? Yeah, don't worry. I ain't going nowhere. You know it's rude to stare. Uh Wow, I just thought I just got towed off by my kid. It's also the kind of horse we have. Oh. Whose horse is this? Uncle's? Well, it's named, so I don't really know the breed. Oh well. I mean, I guess it's really... Everything that we have in Beecher's Hope. I'm not sure what these ty types of crops are supposed to be. Fill up the jugs by milking the cow. Oh. So chores that we've done on Pronghorn Ranch. Might as well get some chores done. Full beer, I'd be a millionaire. <laughs> You'd be flat on your back halfway to market. Yep. Yeah. Better just keep her for myself. You know, find a nice little cabin with a view. Just me and my beer cow. Living out our days. 
I do not need to know where this fantasy ends. Six feet under in the span of five years? That's the kind of solitude I do not wish to live in. So we can milk the cow. Yeah, dude, I just cleaned up. Very immersive gameplay, am I right? Okay, any advantages? No? Okay. Oh, I didn't see the goats. I didn't know we have any. Hey, Abigail. You're cleaning a horse in that? I mean... You reckon this could be a real ranch one day? Big head of cattle and all? I hope so. But let's take it slow. Don't want to run before we can walk. I know. We already pushed our luck harder than we should. Countless times. Say, how much money do we have? Oh. Oh, wow. We're rich, aren't we? I know what we're doing with that money. Yep, I'm just gonna throw my money away. Throw my money at poker, throw my money at dominoes, throw my money at, at whatever. <sighs> Why not? All in. Uh -huh. Hey, hey. Thank you for the extra five dollars. Too good. I'm out. Oh, I'm sure you did. Oh, what do you know? I don't know why it's moved. I really wouldn't know where that statue moved to. I better close this up before Abby yells at me. Uh, alright. Oh. Huh. Hey, sir. Everything tended to? Hello. <laughs> I just wolfed out my meal. <laughs> Have you uh seen my squirrel anywhere? We got it, so it doesn't matter. Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> you moved it. <sighs> Good. Well, you take care now. Thanks, John. How's your back? Giving me terrible pain. I'm lucky I wasn't smoked through. Is it like lumbago again? You'll recover. And real quick, I bet. I'll see you around. Well, we burned the breeze long enough, I reckon. Complain about this food. Hey there, Jack. Hi. Jack, my boy. I'm good, son. Never better. If you don't mind, sir. You okay, Mrs. Marston? Sure. But, Jack, I worry for him so. I know. He'll get there. I'm sure he will. Jack, it looks like you have something to say. But, I'll see you around. And while I guess we're waiting for the statue to disappear again, we're gonna go see if we're gonna try to locate all the rest of the gang hideouts. Somehow, we didn't find all of them. We'll get that solved. Oh, what do you know? This is the gang hideout, all right. Hey! What are you guarding, huh? The ass end of the world? Oh, keep laughing, amigo. We'll save your life with a blade on your neck. That's supposed to scare me? It was meant to inform. But since it hasn't, get your gun. 
Let us have him fun. Nope, can't get in there. How do I get inside? Fuck, that sounded so close. Uh, I kind of found a way? Yeah. Yep, so that was one of the gang hideouts that I needed to find. So let's go find that other one and we'll be all set. Hey, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this revolver just stuck on this glove? He just fixed it. Never mind. Well. Doesn't this place look awfully familiar? Even when I haven't played the original Red Dead Redemption. Okay, they did not... They did not give me a chance. No, you'll die by mine. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hey there, want some buckshot? And that was the last of the gang hideouts. Let's get on out of here. Morning. Everyone seems to be leaving us. Charles, Sadie. Oh, don't you worry, John. I ain't going anywhere. You bury me here. <laughs> if you got any idea when that'll be, let me know. Please. Again with the foreshadowing. Oh, I mean, I don't know how subtle it is, but... Oh, looky again. It's gone. I seem to keep on knocking something down here. Oh. 
Right. Well, I don't know why I keep opening this. It's not gonna be in here. Well, I just saw the prompt and immediately thought, do something, so... There you go. Why does he place it so gingerly? I mean, it's just a wooden statue, right? There are some guns I haven't purchased just well, yet. Yes, Open yes I am. Evans repeater. Interesting. Whatever. I gotta get in anyways. Okay. What are the other weapons to have yet to buy? Oh! I think I have an idea where that last weapon is. But before I get that... Wow. It's buried near our camp in Chapter 3. Sean McGuire. Oh. Oh. I remember. That really was an untimely death when we walked into roads and they ambushed us like that. Hate it for him. Yeah, so here is Kieran's grave. Yeah, so we already paid respects to him. Easy now. Wow. Uh, who's buried here? Here in New Hanover. It's Grimshaw. I had no idea she was buried here. And I think we've seen these graves here before. Back in chapter 5. Um, Lenny. It's Lenny and I forget. Oh, Hosea, of course. Yeah, I've already paid my respects. I don't know why the hell it took me so long to find it, but here is Calendar's grave. I think we could have found this grave. All the way back in chapter one. I mean, we don't even know the character because okay, he died before we even got started. Jenny Kirk. Ooh, I totally forgotten who he is. But I'm guessing like Calendar, he also died before we even got to play the game. Please. This is Eagle flies, isn't it? Oh, uh, tragic, really. Eagle flies give us life for Arthur, and what's beautiful yet also tragic is that Arthur gave his life for John. I finally found it. It's Arthur. Oh, Arthur, my Arthur. Wow, he got buried with high honor. Well, I mean, that's kind of what we ended up with at the end of Arthur's story. It's kind of sad that John doesn't have any words for him, but wow, just look at that. I mean, it's kind of a great spot to be buried in. It's a really great view. Does Abigail keep moving this statue? Well, Abigail's not here. Uh, I doubt it's in a draw- mm. I don't think I want to search all those drawers anyways. Oh, huh, that stove is looking kind of nice. 1900s, anyways. Who's this? Oh! Oh, hey. oh I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Just walk in, rock, rock right back out without acknowledging Jack. Oh, I forgot there's a ladder in here. Oh. Is this uncle's room? Well, he's probably pissed drunk somewhere. Oh. I'm gonna take his stuff. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. I thought I heard him snore. Even though he's clearly not here. Oh. Really? Abby, you hit it here. Put it back where it belongs. 
else. Yeah. Why can't you appreciate a little art? Oh, but like I said, like I said, consider where that art is coming from. So we're back at Mount Hagen. And a death of Micah Bell. I believe. This was the revolver I was talking about. To me, it's just another revolver. I feel like trying it out anyways. Oh, I can't shoot. What do you mean? I can't shoot him. Wow, ice cold. His body is ice cold. And I believe that will do it. Just about done, my friend. Go in peace, Arthur Morgan. Go in peace.